Pisces, you shocked the heck out of me. I did not know you were going to come up first in these readings. I was shuffling out the energies of the cards, and Pisces, you popped right out. So I want to be first. But you know what? That doesn't surprise me. You do want to be first. You don't let anyone know you want to be first, but normally you do. You are competitive that way. Pisces, this is your new moon solar eclipse reading for June 10th in June. And this is why Crow to Row. My name is Ebony, returning subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, Pisces. For new visitors, uh, hopefully new uh, subscribers, please be sure to leave a like on the video if something in the video does resonate with you. I look forward to seeing you back and reading more of your energy. Pisces, I never know what I'm going to get with your energy. I actually started this reading and was about five minutes in and realized I ha wasn't recording with sound. So <laughs> so I had to start all the way over and it was it was okay. There was, there was a great message what I was getting into, but we're going to start right over here. It might be a little abbreviated, but in your first position we had pulled the Emperor in reverse for you, Pisces. Aries energy. Oh. Talking about you dealing with energies of stepping into more of a of, of an authoritative figure, authoritative figure in your life, Pisces. This could also say that you are dealing with authority, issues of authority. This is the theme of your reading, the Emperor. You are learning how to not cut corners, I felt the need to say, not cut corners in your own life or with others. There's a sense of needing to be upfront, direct, to the point, and maintain a sense of control. Even though you as a mutable sign, I think you would prefer not to rock the boat as it were but you are you are competitive Pisces you're very competitive you're much more competitive than you even let on but this is about you asserting authority without without feeling the need to have to diminish anyone else's light not that you do but I there's an energy I picked up off this card and maybe you too Pisces were dealing with people who were doing this to you I felt the need to say this technically isn't even your energy Aries energy you could be dealing with people in positions of authority in your own life who the Emperor in reverse can suggest that someone's abusing their authority with you or abusing their sense of authority right. um, regardless this eclipse energy is going to show you this new moon energy is going to show you where you are lacking in those areas of your life where wherever you feel that you're lacking things to potentially cut at this time Pisces the moon you interesting also dual sign of cancer for me as a reader but you regardless the moon this is all your energy Pisces <laughs> the moon you're cutting out the shadow the shadow aspect of your life this is because guys the solar eclipse the moon she's gonna be revealed the Sun is literally going to illuminate her so or him I actually kind of consider the moon to be a masculine energy but you know we take flack over that the Sun the Sun feels like a more of a feminine energy but you know, we, have to, we would spend another five hours talking about <laughs> the relevance of that but that's just how I feel anyway the moon you're learning how to reveal your true self to others their aspects or what it's telling you the energy that you could benefit from by cutting by cutting is to be your open honest self to 
not hide, to reveal. Reveal what you feel on the inside, because maybe there were times, especially how you were dealing with energy or energies, or maybe how they were dealing with you, that was not in your best interest or other people, right? Here's what's to nurture about yourself during this time, Pisces. We have the Nine of Coin. The Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. The Nine of Pentacles. Yourself! <laughs> the Self. The Nine of Pentacles. This, uh, this new moon is, excuse me, well, the new moon, yeah, and the solar eclipse are going to see uh, growth for you. They're going to see gain for you, financial abundance, security. Um, if you're single, this is a great time for you as well. You know, you don't have to be single. But the nine is about personal growth and expansion, personal security. Um, I think that's what many of you are concerned about. So... This is a great time for you, Pisces. I love to see this energy. And this is also telling you that what to nurture during this time is yourself. Nurture what you're good at, what you're invested in, your goals, your ambitions, your desires, projects, things like that, um, business, ventures, all of that. Um, also to put yourself first in your relationships in terms of love. Don't shot don't diminish your light for others don't hide who you really are from others it's okay to be authentically you it really is pisces okay energy that you can tap into during this time pisces is judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse. So I'm holding these cards up for you because these these are the we this is the Weaver Tarot that I'm using. They're just such beautiful cards. I want you to be able to spend time with them, spend time with the energy. Judgment. Scorpionic energy here. I think spirit's trying to tell you, or the energy is trying to tell you, Pisces, to not to put... There's some things that are out of your hands, right? Not to put the pressure of that, of decision-making, so much. It's not time yet to make... Huge decisions. Judgment is... I mean... It, Regardless, it's a judgment call, you know? It's a judgment call of your own life. The universe, I think, wants you to release. Release the need to control the outcome of a situation. Okay? It's being taken care of. I feel that. It's whatever it is for you. It's being taken care of. There's no need to worry. Let's whip out... some fountain to it, shall we? I'm going to clarify these energies for you. On the split, we have the Two of Cups and Strength. Kind of in reverse. Interesting. You wanting to reveal, you don't want to hold back anymore. This could be dealing with love for you, for the partners, people who are focused on relationships at this time. It's to say that you could strengthen a bond with the current connection that you have, or... You are feeling the need to work on, work on one for sure. Show me the show me the anchor, the emperor. Why is that here, please? For Pisces, thank you. Wow. Okay. Wheel of Fortune in reverse at the moment. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. 
Or just the wheel? I'm not entirely sure. This is the theme. The theme is overall is about change, yes? So this eclipse season is really going to show you that. With the Wheel of Fortune being here, expect big changes, Pisces. Big changes. But that's why you're being called to answer the call now, as it were, to step into your power. Let's back in the Wheel of Fortune, please. Big changes coming. Some that are right, literally out of your control. Let's back in the Wheel. Sagittarius energy. Beautiful. Oh yeah. The star. Aquarian energy. Chasing a dream. Some of you are going to live your dreams. This is going to be a boost, a shift in energy forward, whatever you're doing, Pisces. I feel the need to tell you that. Let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. This person or this situation, what was not, what was not, I feel like mentioning that issue, that area of control that you were either lacking in your life or that someone was being overly exerted with you, Pisces, that's being phased out so that you can follow, I consider your true north, right? The star, which is beautiful, and a two of cups on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, you're quite really uh, an Aquarius is quite literally your two of cups. I felt the need to say that. What are we cutting at this time? Why is the moon here for Pisces? Should I clear it? Why is the moon here, please? Yeah. The nine of swords. No kidding. No kidding. The nine of swords. Fierce. Let me see here. Some of you were so scared as children. This is some childhood wounded nightmares I'm feeling like. Like you could not be yourself. Or you were, I get, I'm sorry, I got the image of a sense of a child who It's like you were punished for things that you didn't understand why you were being punished for them. It's like maybe you did something wrong, but you couldn't understand what you had done wrong or why what you had done deserved a punishment to such a harsh degree. And it really kind of corrupted your sense of I better not reveal, I better hide and protect myself because why am I being punished by these people or this person for no reason it's kind of what it feels like for no reason that's an aside for some of you I'm sorry that you experienced that I know that's well I know there's a sense of I can't show who I really am because I'll be punished for it Seven of Swords. I better keep that a secret. I better hide that. Seven of Swords. That also put me into a state of, 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 You felt weak for exposing who you really were. It became your weakness instead of your strength. Your, literally your energy, your moon energy, Pisces, became your weakness instead of your strength. Because the moon, no matter what you say, is quite literally your power card. One of your power cards, okay? Like, you are comfortable in this energy. So, or should be. Bare minimum. This is what you're cutting out. And i like to see that for you. Show me the nine of coins, please. What are we stepping into? This is what you're nurturing at now at this time. Cutting out during this moon cycle, during the solar eclipse. Judgment again. Look at that. Look at that. Judgment. Practically over judgment. 
There is a judgment call you are being asked to make. It's your choice, Pisces. Spirit can only answer the call when you call, so you gotta make the call, honey. You're healing. Some of you are. Like this, even this particular Seven of Swords. He's only holding four swords. He's holding four swords. The Four of Swords is about healing the mind, healing the mind from from trauma and abuse. For some of you, that is ringing very true. I know that. You let me know. This is healing my mind from trauma that I suffered at a young age. For what? I don't know. But I did. And you did. And it's okay to acknowledge that, yes, you did. Judgment's here. Two of cups, still on the bottom. What's the judgment call? Celebration. The four of wands. Beautiful. Beautiful. Celebration. Four and four. Fours are very important numbers for you. I felt the need to say Pisces. Four. You will be celebrating again. Four of wands over the nine of pentacles too. This is you feeling comfortable in your own skin. I like it. I like it. You will be celebrating. Could be four involved in your situation as well, I felt the need to say. Or four stages of your life that you will go through. Pisces, very, very possibly true here. Four stages of your life. Four significant people in your life. Four potential outcomes. Either way, we're celebrating. That's the 1111 card, the Mayfair pole. Judgment. In reverse is here. Why? And this is the energy that really spirit's kind of calling you to tap into right now is your own. Yes, you can make you you make the judgment call, Pisces. Spirit really wants you to understand that it's up to you. What you speak into existence becomes. So please keep that in mind. Why is judgment here, please? Be very careful with those words, Pisces. Create. There we go. <laughs> okay, kind of flip that on its side. Either way, the Nine of Pentacles, kind of, you know, teeter totter here. Whatever. The Nine of Pentacles again. Some of you. Some of you are getting married. I felt the need to say that, or want to. Some of you, because sitting right next to the four of wands and technically she kind of almost came out in reverse the nine of pentacles in reverse could say that someone is about to be taken off the market yeah someone is about to go into a potentially a commitment possibly let's back the nine of coins maybe you're making a judgment about a certain person that you want to have in your life at this time Pisces you're reviewing them, reviewing their actions. Someone could be reviewing you. Okay. The world to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You have yet to build this chapter, start this chapter with this person, but whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles, also Virgo, in my opinion. Virgo. This is someone you wish to have a chapter with. They come after the world. They come after the cycle that you are completing right now. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Earth in your chart. Beautiful. Someone you're going to... Now... This particular Queen of Pentacles, the judgment call about this person, and I kind of feel like it's the same person here, and they're both, it's funny because they're both in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles are in reverse. This is the person, I think, or the en entity, right, that you're making a judgment call about Pisces in your life. Someone who can be a little insecure, they can be, right? They can be even micromanaging, stingy. Um, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she's happy so long as she's taken care of, but... <sighs> mm. 
That's interesting. Let's see. Yeah. We have the Knight of Wands underlying the spread here. The Knight of Wands. <laughs> Passionate. This person is very fiery. Very like a spitfire. I think your energies attract each other that way. But one of you kind of halts when you suspect bad energy, the Ten of Swords, with each other, or you trigger each other. You trigger wounding in each other, or you trigger the memory of wounding in each other. And maybe that's something... For some of you, you're working through that. Some of you will work through it, but that's what you're working on, at the very least, with this person. Let's see your surprise energy, Pisces. We have... <laughs> the Hierophant. Taurus energy. How interesting. The Hierophant, Pisces. This could be surprise energy, commitment. I just say I felt like someone was getting married here. Wedding. Abundance, security, knowledge, you're getting to know each other, you're learning more about each other. Some of you are graduating, you're going off to school, you're learning, you're getting gathering mentorship at this time. Some of you don't feel stable enough yet right now to be in a connection, which is why you're feeling the need to 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 work on yourselves, to get stable, more grounded as it were. Um, not a bad thing, guys. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to work on yourselves before you enter into a commitment. And I, I feel that for many of you out there. So the higher font is you wanting more knowledge about your world. You being becoming both the student and the teacher. All right, Pisces, you have lunar, <laughs> you have lunar eclipse, change, change, Pisces. This is your black moon oracle. I'm going to read this to you, your black moon oracle. That's beautiful. And I'll tell you something else, Pisces, under this change that's happening during a lunar eclipse, how interesting, we also have genius. Uranus and genius. So check your Uranus placement, Pisces. Some of you, some of you haven't even begun to tap into get the pure genius that you have. Some of you have. Some of you are. You are quite literally little geniuses walking around. Maybe you needed to know that. I don't know, but you know, just letting you know. You guys are some, you're clever. You're a lot more clever than you let people know. You're very clever, Pisces, and not all of it in a bad way. I was in the, um, I don't think many of you are. So this change, Pisces, three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth attributed to the Buddha. How interesting. Huh? Good theme for this reading, I think. Yeah. The lunar eclipse takes place when the Earth is directly aligned between the Sun and the Moon. The Earth blocks out the light of the Sun's light. The Earth, excuse me, blocks out the Sun's light, causing the Moon to be in the Earth's shadow. This can only happen during a full moon. And while a solar eclipse lasts only for minutes, the lunar eclipse lasts for hours. Ancient peoples were extremely frightened by eclipses because they believed a great serpent was taking bites out of the sun and moon. Eclipses can bring on times which seem shadowy and disordered, but they are not necessarily bad and should not be viewed as such. We are meant to be thrown off balance to make necessary changes. It is a time of seeing the light and focusing on something you have either put off or didn't exactly notice was coming up. So. <laughs> time to address those things that you have put on the back burner, Pisces. Don't cut corners around it. Address it for what it is. Yes? Yes. 
because you also have this energy is gaining momentum your phenomenology and we have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius i told you someone was dealing with aquarius back here bring love into the situation pisces new moon in aquarius and this energy is gaining momentum a lot of momentum and like i was saying for those of you look at all this purple this purple energy some of you are incredibly psychic clairvoyant clairaudient uh, fellow tarot readers out here thank you if you are watching my videos thank you <laughs> i try to do your readings some justice i really do try <laughs> thank you guys Thank you, Pisces. I hope this message did resonate with you today. Please let me know down in the comments if it did. All right. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Drop me a comment. Um, also, guys, if you would like to follow me on social media, all of my social media links are posted down in the description. If you're interested in any of the decks that I currently use on my channel, all of those links are also provided down below in the description. But the easiest way to support the channel, support your girl, is to become a leave a like or subscribe to the channel, guys. Fastest, easiest way. Sending you so much love and light, Pisces. Stay blessed, stay happy through this solar eclipse pour on your genius, all right? Talk to you soon. Be well.